Hello everybody and a warm welcome. This is Michael O'Grady again and we're in part 11 of 14 parts dealing at buttons. Uh, last time we looked at vertical menu and we're moving one along to buttons. Looking at this page it looks like we have several buttons but when we click here on the menu you can see we're in the menu. So this is a menu button as opposed to a button button and in here the vertical menu Again, we're not in buttons, we're in vertical menu. So there's only actually one button that appears in the Artist Steer template, and this is the search button. And when we click this, we get our buttons menu open up. Even when I track down to the bottom of the page, you can see there's only one button, which is this one. So let's have a look. Let's just have a look at uh, getting Artist Steer to suggest some designs. Uh, we've looked at this before, it's fairly simple, a bit of a sledgehammer, a bit random. Um, the alternative is in all of these panels you get a little light bulb and when you hover over the light bulb and then click it you can get um, the suggestions made for you there and then, but again they're random. So let's have a look at the button uh, types. We've got different sizes, square, rounded, rounded end, rounded corners and um, you basically choose your basic shape and you can see here uh, the, the menu system hasn't changed it's only our single search button so going to the shape uh, we get different sizes okay large small uh, size variants of the same shape borders we can change the color uh, both in the hovered uh, and pressed and of course the natural uh, position uh, so let's go for uh, black. We can also change the border thickness. So let's go for three pixels. We can also change the texture. There's none at the moment. So let's just go for a fairly bold texture. Uh, you can see we can uh, put the texture on. We can actually scale it and make it transparent and rotate it, do all sorts of things here. But the texture appears through the uh, hover and pressed uh, down state. So let's just go for a, a more subtle one. There we go. So it's still there, quite subtle on the up state. We can apply a gradient. Let's apply a subtle gradient. That's a little bit subtle, might be okay. Let's go for a, a stronger one that you'll be able to see. Okay, that's very strong, dark at the top. And the gradients apply through all the, the three button states as well. So we can go for um, shadows, uh, fill colours, the shadows um, glow and shadow, and the fill colours in the three button states. So let's make it a bit more obvious in the, um, the hover state. Let's go for a, a strong red. Okay, not necessarily appropriate, but uh, you get the idea that uh, we're changing the three states. And then the text as well. We can change the color of the text um, on the three states. So let's have a look in the up state. Let's make it darker. Okay, it's not necessarily very very visible. I think the, the contrast um, of the gradient is too strong. White doesn't really make it much better. Let's have a look at uh, Arial Black, a very strong, thick font. And again, it's, um, it's, it's carried through the three states, but it's not necessarily the, uh, the contrast we want. And any of these, if we go to the options, we get to choose the various options we've got within the um, drop downs. So that's it. The uh, The next one is footer. It's the last of the uh, artist here tab buttons and then we'll do a couple. One on um, a time lapse uh, of me doing something really quick, probably taking 10 or 20 minutes, reducing it to a few minutes and another one um, actually applying a finished theme to a web, uh, web, web press site. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I'll join you on the next one, uh, 12 of 14.